welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new um, Diamond Art Club. Sorry, I'm looking for the hole. There's usually a hole in the wrapper of these and I didn't open it first because I kind of wanted to share the opening with you. This for me is my first box in the new coding that they've got. Ugh, excuse me. So, there's the blue band. If you've seen any other unboxings, you've seen these before. So you've got the blue band. I think the blue diamond means that it's, uh, the blue here says that it's the square. And then you've got the image and you've got the, um, it's still snowflakey. Um, yeah, you can kind of see them in there. You can see the stars within the wrapping. All right, this is Steve Crisp's Crisps, sorry, Steve Crisps, Cottage by the Lake. Now, this is a whole new way of packaging. Okay, took it and picture. That's it. This also gives you instructions on the back. I think there are going to be instructions on the inside as usual. Uh, it tells you that it's got your premium velvet tarpaulin canvas, your color-coded resin diamonds, your magic diamond applicator. I don't know why they call it magic, but anyway. Wax pad and craft tray. Anyway. <sighs> That's boring. Sort of. This is a new way of wrapping with the canvas outside of the drill. So, we'll see how we go. But as I say, this is my first in this style. This is huge. This is uh, 76 by 51. This is, well, okay, it's as big as the big ones are. A lot of them are actually this size. Sorry, I'm just going to keep popping up and down. Yeah. Okay. Drills. You ready? The plastic is a little bit big. It's actually got stuck in the... Um, I'll leave it actually stuck in that thing. Blimey. Uh, things are crashing. Hold on. Right. Now, I'm going to leave my camera do its jumpy thing. I'm going to see how we go. I'm not a big fan of the autofocus camera, but yeah. I don't like it when it jumps, put it that way. But when it zooms in and it works, it's really good. Look at that thatched cottage. I have always wanted to live in a thatched cottage cottage ever since I was brought on drives in England with my dad, mum and dad, or dad, uh, usually mum was with me, um, but we went through these villages where there was thatched cottage everywhere. Now, unfortunately, they look brilliant. Every 20 years you have to take off all the straw and you've got to redo the thatch. They're not cheap to live in one of these babies, but they are gorgeous and there's an English village called Lil Lilliput Lane. There are these little Mm, clay houses, polymer houses, I don't know what they are, the resin, whatever, they're, Lilliput Lane are these models of villages, houses within villages, and they're just divine. Um, I haven't been able to actually find my dream house in Lilliput Lane, but it's been years since I've actually looked to. But this kind of thing is, oh, yeah, all kinds of awesome. So, what have we got in this picture? Well, you've got a lot in this picture and I will do my best not to hit microphones, not to block thingies and I may end up going off the canvas just to show you some stuff. So we've got a couple of chickens, some chooks, so we've got the white chook and then we've got a couple of um, Rhode, Island, are Rhode Island Reds, uh, I've gone blank, what's, we have a red, I can't think of what the name is. This is a flutter by. Oops, it's off off screen. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Look, there's a flutter by. There's a butterfly. Um, lots and lots of flowers. So we've got the typical English garden. Uh, country flowers. They do they do country gardens so so well. All the the beautiful flowers that they grow in the countryside. So you've got bees, you've got butterflies, you've got all sorts of wildlife. It's just amazing in England and Ireland. You've got a little rowboat on your lake. I mean, of course, you'll have a lake outside of your house, won't you? No? Who the hell has a lake outside of their house? Oh, it's swans! There's three. There's one, two, and there's one up the back. 
Um, you've got Jan, farmer dude, with his border collie dog, as you do in the countryside. And this blob back here is actually a tractor. Um, this is your village church, you know, which have the, the big square tower um, things. Now, Steve Chris actually has signed his work um, down on one of these rocks, but we've lost his signature in the diamond painting because, you know, detail. Um, and then you've got your great big, I don't know, sycamore oak tree here, and you've got your broken down fence in the bottom corner just here. Um, and you've got more flowers. And it's just, it's just idyllic. Absolutely idyllic. All right, I will go into the details of the drills. Now, I usually get this to relax, but this is so big it's not actually going to really relax. So I'm just going to roll it up and get it out of the way. And we'll work off the inventory sheet for a second, because I will show you where the ABs are going to be. And I don't know what's in there. This is your nine step instruction booklet. I really like this little booklet. It's, um, it's that little touch more luxury than the photocopy thingy. You can get a $10 coupon, in, sorry, 10% coupon in that if you're desperate. But to be honest, the 15% discount is usually the generic one. There are more than one discount code floating around in the Diamond Art Club arena. All right, there is your picture. I'll try unsuccessfully to block my face. Maybe go that way. No, no just gonna have to block my face it's just the level that it's at so there is the sticker that you get the information that you get is cottage by the lake diamond shape square with a B it's a 30 by 20 inch which sounds tiny but it's 76 by 51 centimeters so it is huge yeah and then you've got the code and it says that there's a B's now a B's we've got one two in number one and number two but I have found that they can be sneaky and throw one in into the middle sometimes there isn't so that we've got two ABs, we've got 138, which is blue, and 130, which is yellow. ABs are the ones under 150 in Diamond Dark Club World. Now, because this is square, you get the tweezers, which are awesome. They are the ESD 14s, if you're interested in getting them. They're pointy, they're sharp as all hell, and I'm not going to open the bag. You've got a blue pen, there's a squishy, there's at least one wax, two wax, so I can see the colours there, and there are some bags. Not many bags, and not enough for you to kit up with. And then you get the drill tray, which I don't like because the lines don't go up to the top. That's just me. So that gets put aside. This is a big bag. All right. Gonna make some noise. Stand by. Okay, 42 colors, if I didn't already say it, and I don't think I did. Now, what I need to do is try and stabilize my viewing so that you don't keep focusing in and out. We'll see how the camera travels. So we've got 905, which is your greens. Square drills, it's coming from the post-COVID drills. So I'm not sure if these are remnant drills or new drills. I know there have been some manufacturing issues, not necessarily in Diamond Art Club, but around the world, because there was a shortage of drills with people not making them. 435, which is a kind of orange brown. 3371, there are three <coughs> brown blacks. So 3371 is brown, as dark as you can go. 739 is a, like a pale peach. And as you can see, see my camera's not focusing as nicely as I might want it to focus. 934, which is, um, it's a kind of green brown. 3755, two of those. So that's in the water and that would be in the sky looking at the picture. Ooh, 130, yellow, yellow, and that's an AB. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like sunshine. The kind of colour that you would expect maybe bananas to be, but they're not. Um, maybe like grapefruit or something. I'm looking in the picture and I'm kind of going, where is the yellow? That's going to all be in the flowers, I reckon. So all down the bottom right, across the left, 
there's going to be maybe some of the butterfly and up to the left hand top corner by the thatch um maybe in the end of the thatch towards where the dude is standing the farmer is standing with the tractor and the dog in the middle of the painting maybe and in that flower patch on the side of the lake interesting we'll see where they are um 890 which is a dark green two of those 165 which is a gorgeous pale lemon yellow the kind of pale lemon yellow you would want to paint your kids bedroom nursery in all right 434 which is another orangey brown 700 only one of those green there's lots of greens in this but lots and lots of different colors 904 there's two of those in the kind of muddier green 775 is that gorgeous mint green 938 which is a brown Right, I will fold these as I go this way. I kind of know where I've been to. I'm looking for an end. Okay, eight nine five, which is a very dark green. 3865, which is your cream. 906 green. 907, which is your more yellow green, highlighter green even. 738, which is a pale peach with a next door. No, it's not a next door neighbor. It's from a. Down that way. 436, which is an orange. 3841 which is pale blue and 699 which is a dark green kind of the tree green all right now and all right 898 which is brown orange 720 322 which is the blue matches my nails 433 which is brown 992 which is a pale uh, not a pale green it's even a, it's just it's a green it's an aqua green 300 which is a brown 954 which is a lovely green i don't know that i've seen much of that very nice nice green um 783 which is an orange brown 334 which is a blue again matches my nails 3814 which is an aqua green 666 which is your bright red which is going to be in those flowers so Mm -hmm. There you go. 321, which is a cherry red. 913. Interesting seeing the two reds next to each other, how different they really are. 913, which is a gorgeous fresh green. It's like a pistachio green. 312, which is a dark blue. 823, which is a navy blue. 601, which is a cerise pink. 603, which is a pale pink. 712, which is really token off white. To token cream maybe in those stepping stones 138 there's your other AB all right that is aqua and that really is the color of my nails that's very interesting um, and it is giving a silver color very much a token of that and I think it's going to be in those flowers below the butterfly and then 798 which is a blue all right Here is the color range. Get my little hands to do that. Look at those colors all together. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. Hang on just a second. where these are I'm gonna do it sideways so one and two is what we're looking for and the ones as I said they are scattered right through all the yellow in the flowers and the blossoms here 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 
Um, move you along. I'm not seeing any of the twos. Where are the twos? So the twos are in aqua, and I thought they'd be down here. There are some twos down here. That's it. Where else? Like, there's a smattering down here. What's down here? It's just, um... Is it a... Oh, it's a bit of the water leaving the lake. Mm. Okay. Blue sky. Blue on the swans, surprisingly. Um, mm, that looks like it's about it. It's in the water coming out of the lake. So it's, there's a little... I can't show you, really. Um... So the lake spills out here to this little kind of brook and it's this little water gathering that shows that blue sheen. I'll show you on the picture. Alright, so you've got some ABs in this bit in the water reflection, but you've got the yellow all the way through. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a hot air balloon as well. Nifty. And lots of, they're swifts um, flying. Um, can we see the swifts in the painting? Yep, yeah, there are the swifts up there and there's the hot air balloon. Ah, cool. Um, swifts have a different um, wing shape to swallows. Sorry, that's just the... Oh, and there's a train. Steam train. There's so much more. And there's sheep in the field. They're probably like three, three squares um, in total. And in the picture, we'll, we'll see what comes out. There is a red admiral. Oh, no, that's a red admiral. Um, this is something else. And there's a dragonfly here. Um, you've got the white chook, you've got the red chooks, you've got the lilies with the flowers, you've got the green boat, you've got the lupin and stuff, you've got the, you know, daisy kind of things. I wish I knew more of the names of the English flowers. Mum used to garden all the time. But yeah, lots of bird life, the hot air balloon. Um, interesting because... They don't often fly hot air balloons late in the day, but there's a reasonably high sun for the swan's shadows. Mm. And the sun's up that direction. Um, so much detail. I love the detail. I was looking at this on the picture on Diamond Art Club. I actually clicked on the photograph in the site and it blows it up to like full screen. I've got a huge computer screen and the detail in that, it was just like, oh my God, the red brick detail. And I'm, I'm looking at Steve Cripps, Crisps, Crisps, his original artwork and the detail is just incredible. So we're not gonna get it in the diamond painting, but just the painting is just stunning. So please, if you can go and explore his artwork. So Steve Crisp, Cottage by the Lake. It is out of stock currently at the time I'm going to video. If you are really, really interested in getting this um, painting, then please put your email in so that you get the return to stock notice or you get the pre-order notice and you will be able to get in and get your um, Steve Crisp. There are some beautiful, beautiful landscapes, both by Steve Crisp, John Sloan and Chuck Pinson. And oh my God, did you hear the news? Chuck Randall Spangler has been secured for 20, 20 paintings? 20 paintings by Diamond Art Club. So you are going to have dragonlings coming out your ears. If you like dragonlings, Randall Spangler is coming to Diamond Art Club big time. We've had a couple from him and now we're getting more. And I don't, I think I've got one on pre-order. I think I've got fireflies on pre-order, um, but everything else is, a been sold out it's like bloody covid and everyone doing diamond painting it's like go away just get stock in quick <laughs> so yeah lots and lots of news um so yes uh if you're 
interested in some gorgeous artwork, check it out. Now, I have a link for Diamond Art Club. What it will give you is, a, it's a referral link from me. Um, I think um, everyone gets it as a purchaser because you get an email saying refer your friends, you get points for doing it. If you use my link, you get 15% off. You can use one of the many, many 15% off links if you like, but you get 15% off and I get a $10 coupon because they link the referral code to me and we both benefit. If you're interested, it's 15% off. Like I said, you can get that 15% code off anywhere. So. Um, you could use my code if you're interested in buying anything Diamond Art Club. And, you know, you give me a bit of a kickback too. So, yes, please, if you like the Diamond Art Club and you want to see more Diamond Art Club, I do have a playlist. It's the Diamond Art Club playlist. It will be in the end screen as you um, get my blessing out. And um, you can check out the Diamond Art Club. If you want to see something that's not Diamond Art Club, then click on the non-diamond art club link and you can see everything that is non-diamond art club that is worth seeing and um, you can check those out please if you haven't already subscribed click click subscribe please like my video if you liked my unboxing and showing you everything and um drop me a comment i love your comments seriously really really enjoy conversing because i am meeting so many awesome people um, you know, who drop comments and say, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I really, really enjoy it. Um, it gives me a thrill. I read the comments pretty much first thing in the morning and it just, you know, gives me that lift for the day. So, yeah, thanks. And I will see you around on the tubes on another video. So, bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain falls soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.